Hello Sagittarius, Elsie here to do a reading for you my friends. It is bonus day, it is Sunday as I drop these cards, but please know that when I do these readings they are uh, for the uh, energy that is current or the future energy and I do not put dates or times on these readings. Sorry, you're going to hear a lot of background noise. I got the windows open. It's a beautiful day here where I live in central Canada. So all right, let's take a look at it here. So I just want to say thank you, Sagittarius. You have been on my list of bonus reads for about the last four weeks. You guys just keep bringing the clicks and the views and, and being in the comments and your thumbs up. And I appreciate you all so much. If you are brand, brand new and you're just walking in on this gig, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I hope that you will stay. I am your Saggy sister. It is in my rising. So I can, I tend to be a little bit silly. <laughs> I like to be silly. All right. And I think it's because my son is in Taurus, right? Is uh, The sun is Taurus for me. So um, uh, 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 it's it can be pretty damn serious without the sad rising energy. <laughs> All right, let's find out what's going on for you. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you for all the ways that you love me, Saggy fam. Let's take a look at Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. What does Sagittarius need to know? We do have the Eight of Cups. Sagittarius, you're feeling um, either disconnected from someone emotionally or you're about to walk away from something here. You're about to leave your feelings behind. Tell me why the Eight of Cups is here for Sagittarius. Okay. We've got the, uh, the star energy here. I feel like you're off, you're toddling off to find your wish fulfillment. That's what it feels like here. I want to say that um, you've spent a lot of time healing or getting in balance and I feel like it's a balance of your emotional side, like your emotional energy and I feel it's it's almost like you've you've healed the self enough that you've made a decision to walk away, bravo, from whatever is is a place where you felt like you were settling for something possibly. I feel like somebody here is is has realized um yeah, you know what? We are in this new cycle, right? The new moon just came by, right? I didn't, wasn't able to do a reading for it, but the new moon just came by, which means we're in a brand new cycle. I feel like you you have decided to release something under the full moon here, and I feel like you've decided to, to head forward with your for your wish fulfillment here in a very balanced way. Your emotions are quite balanced. This is not a, a quick decision. Yeah, you know that the Ten of Cups is out there for you, my friend. You know the Ten of Cups is out there. And I feel like you're going out to find the other two cups because the Eight of Cups is a place where it's not a bad place to be. Look, the Eight of Cups is not a bad place to be. There is emotional happiness there. But it also is a place where maybe you feel like you're settling, that there's got to be two more cups out there. I want the emotional apex of happiness right the rainbow is here it's like after a, a hard time now we're going to be much happier um it does feel like you are you are looking for wish fulfillment and i feel like you are manifesting it by getting your emotional energy in check that's what it feels like here We've got the sun. You've had a realization. So I really do feel like, uh, Sag, whatever it is that you're leaving behind, it's an emotional disconnect. So you've decided you're not putting any more emotions into a situation, a relationship, a, f a friend. Maybe it's a, a, a best friend or a family member because the Ten of Cups is here. It could be a family member for sure. But you've had some sort of a realization about the Ten of Cups. I'm worth more. This person is not, this person, the situation, the job, whatever it is, is not treating me as though I am... Um, someone who is looked over like the star. Like, I'm the star. Why aren't they treating me like the star? I don't need to settle for this. I feel like that's what's going on. It's a realization under the sun, right? The sun has always come with a breakthrough for me. It feels like the sun just shows up, it breaks through the clouds, and all of a sudden it's like, ah, right? It's like when you're laying on the beach and it gets a little cold for a moment, and then the sun comes through the clouds, and you're like, phew, there it is. So I want to say that... Um, for you, I feel like it's it's something that you have to do for you, but also something you're doing for your family. Maybe you have children as well that you know that, that this person or this job or whatever the situation is that you're disconnecting from emotionally was just not the right thing for you and your family. I also feel like you've had some sort of a... Um, I want to say that you've had some sort of an upgrade. I want to say that over over this new moon that you've had a realization or a breakthrough that I need to grow and I can't grow back here if I'm settling for something. I can't grow at all 
if I've decided I'm just going to settle for something. Because I think the sun tells me that not only are you seeing everything clearly now, because nothing really hides from the sun unless it tries to, right? Um, like nothing really hides from the sun. So I feel like you have some really clear vision or a realization or a breakthrough about your growth. Like I feel like you're growing spiritually, personally, professionally. And you just had to leave this back here because... I feel like it just wasn't working out for you. Someone wasn't as excited about your growth as you are. We do have the emperor in the reverse. There it is. So I feel like there's some, I feel like you, uh, Sagittarius, it feels like there's somebody here who is the emperor in the reverse. And so to me, when the emperor is in the reverse or the emperor or any card, really, it's like, especially the emperor and the empress, though, it's like with the emperor, it's like one of the kings is out of whack. That's how it is for me. So it could be one or all of the kings, right? So um, the emperor, I feel, is somebody who is not... Um, invested in growing, someone who's not seeing things for what they are, someone who's not interested in being in a long-term, happy, family sort of relationship. And the emperor being in the reverse tells me that this person is maybe kind of selfish or maybe just not seeing the truth. Um, this person is someone who is not paying attention to their feelings. They might even be subject to outbursts of emotion. I feel like you know that you deserve more than that. What's wrong with the emperor? Why is the emperor in reverse? Tell me about this. Here we got the nine of the, the emperor is stuck in a cycle. So it's it's the king of swords that's in the reverse. They're not seeing the honesty, the truth of the situation. They're not communicating clearly. Maybe they're a liar. Uh, to me, when the when the uh, emperor shows up, it could mean one of the kings in the reverse. And to me, the king of swords in reverse is somebody who is displaying. I'm not diagnosing, please. I'm not a doctor, but someone who's displaying narcissistic narcissistic tendencies. So maybe they might. Uh, come at you and say hey good job and then just discard you and hope that you'll run after them like it feels like it goes back and forth between the dark and the light the dark and the light and that's exactly what the emperor would be doing here i feel like the emperor has sort of got you stuck in a cycle and i feel like you realize that you got to walk away and the emperor is an aries right that is the one who is in control of the empire so this is a business owner this is someone who does what they want to do when they want to do it but I feel like this person is out of sorts or they are someone who's decided that they it's almost like they they're an overlord like when I see the emperor in reverse they're like an overlord like they're saying you got to do this or you got to do that or making you feel bad if you don't take their advice tell me more about Sagittarius we've got the knight of wands they don't give you any stability here and I feel like it's it's been a a back and forth situation it's like a the, the two of pentacles is telling me it's like a, a back and forth back and forth do i love this person because this person is the king of cups so we know that that it's not the king of cups that's in the reverse i want to say because the king of cups has shown up in the upright so i want to say that there is this person is somebody who is who shows you love um but maybe they don't really show it all the time on the surface that would be the emperor in reverse right um it feels like they they do love you but somebody who is who is not necessarily showing you their affection or their love on the surface. The Two of Pentacles makes me feel like, you know, they're kind of in and out with their passion as well. So we could maybe surmise with the Knight of Wands that if there's instability in love here, that maybe they're the King of Wands is in the reverse, which would be kind of a terrible thing because that person is someone who's promiscuous. They, they are someone who is with other people behind your back. Like that person is somebody who just takes what they want. Um, Tell me more about this, please. So I feel like you're trying to make a decision here in the pentacle world. You know, this person is not, they, they kind of race in and out of your life. They don't really give you any stability here. You know that you love them or that they love you. The King of Cups is here, but they're they're acting in fire. They're acting like the, like the Knight of Wands here. And I think you need to finally make a decision. We do have the King of Pentacles in the upright, which is good. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Three of Pentacles. So you're wondering, I feel that it feels like it, with the, the King of Pentacles here is that the, the King of Pentacles tells me that, that this is a very stable and sturdy sort of you see it as stable and sturdy. Maybe you're the one who is stable and sturdy. The Ace of Pentacles, you've invested in this Three of Pentacles partnership. So it please understand that I see the King of Pentacles here, but the Three of Pentacles tells me that maybe I've invested in a, in a friendship or a partnership. Maybe I see, maybe this is your energy. You see, you, you have to make a decision about how deeply you love this person. It feels like this here is like, have I invested in a friendship? 
And do I have just a really sturdy friendship with this person? Is that what they're thinking? Tell me about this Nine of Swords, please. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. So you think this person is your soulmate, right? I think you would be correct. I want to say that you two are both um, business owners, that you're both um, invested in your own stability. So I don't think you're living together. I don't think you're married is what I'm going to say. I feel like this is a dating situation. I feel like you have invested in this person, but the King of Cups, have they invested in you? We have the World card in the reverse. Why are you hanging on to this person, Satch? You have unfinished business with this person. The Two of Cups is here with the Eight of Wands. I know you want to talk about your feelings. You want to have the talk. But I feel that somebody here is too afraid to be alone, and that's why you're not talking about it. It's like it feels like it's a friendship you've invested in, and that you two are living separate lives. You're living in your stability. The the emperor is living in their stability and it feels like you've invested in a partnership this is partnership to me the three of pentacles is not love i want to say that you want to have this conversation with the emperor the world is in the reverse which tells me there's unfinished business in love and we do have to have a conversation right we do have the two of cups and the world card in reverse there's unfinished business here because we haven't spoken about it i feel like you want to talk about love tell me about the eight of wands please you want to talk about where is this relationship? Because I've invested in some sort of a partnership here, and I'm not getting a whole lot of love out of you. It feels like this person is the king of uh, the king of cups, and so they don't show you a whole lot of um, um, a whole lot of emotion on the surface. So if they do love you, they haven't said it here. Uh, we do have the tower. This this conversation is going to cause a tower, Sag. It is. The hanged uh, energy here, the hanged man, right? The hanged one tells me you must get your stability. You have to get this other person's perspective on what's going on because you will hang here forever. Like, you're loyal. You'll hang here forever. The Six of Pentacles is in the reverse because I feel like you're not getting reciprocity. It feels like you keep begging for their attention. Why aren't they choosing you? It feels like this person is very busy. They're like, oh, I'm the emperor. My life is busy. My business is busy. Like, it feels like you're at the end of the line. It's like everything else comes before you, Sag. And so it feels like there's a conversation that needs to go on. Now, the emperor, understand, could also be a boss. This could be a job I'm talking about. Somebody... Somebody is not giving you the attention, not the kudos, not not um, um, the energy that you require from being really good at what you do. Maybe you've been passed up for a promotion. Um, somebody is not expressing how valuable you are to them. And so it feels unfinished to you here. It's like you're thinking about closing the door, but first you want to have a conversation, which is going to cause a tower. Because you've been thinking about this here. Tell me why the tower is here. We do have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so we do have uh, three kings. Ah, I said at the beginning, y'all. I said at the beginning that the King of Swords was the one that was in the reverse. Because now we have the King of Wands, the King of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. They're all in the upright. It's the King of Swords that's in the reverse. So we do have the Six of Cups here. And I feel like this is somebody here who is treating you more like a friend than they are treating you as a romantic partner. The Seven of Pentacles tells me that you've known this person for a really long time or you've been really patient about not opening up this conversation because you know that the Emperor's in reverse. The Emperor's in reverse, not being understanding, cantankerous, now that we know that it's the King of Swords that's in the reverse and not the other kings, we know that this person's not being truthful, not being honest. This person is not interested in justice. They just want to do what they want to do. They're just going to tell you, look, if you can't follow me, then, you know, that's it's, it's your problem, not mine. So I feel like you've known this person for a long time and that's why you are are deciding that you want to talk about it first tell me what happens in the conversation tell me what the outcome is here what happens in this conversation does this does this um because it feels like you're not really together like i would say maybe you see each other but i feel like this person races in and out for passion you give them the passion you invite them in but they're not giving you stability tell me what's uh, what's the outcome here please Three of Swords. Discontent. Disappointment. Possibly a heartbreak. This person might even have a third party. 
We have the hermit. Stop talking. I feel like we stop talking because it is... It's heartbreaking, but this person, once you open up this conversation, you have the talk. Once you open up this conversation, this person shuts down on you. It's like they've chosen another. Their choice. It's their choice, Sad. You must know. It's their choice to pull away. They've chosen to do it. We have Temperance. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. And it's going to be a long while before you hear from them again. We have the Six of Swords and the Five of Cups. It feels like this is really choppy water where you are here right now. And your Emperor is standing their ground. They don't think they're wrong. You can't convince them that they're wrong. You can't convince them to speak about this situation. It's going, it's, it's not even, they're not even going to fight you on it. They're just going to ignore you. They're going to nothing you. So that's what it feels like here. The Knight of Pentacles and the Temperance here is like you're waiting for the right time. You've been really patient, but you're waiting for the right time to say something. And when you do, the Five of Cups and the Six of Swords are here. I do feel that somebody moves on. It's regretful, but I feel like that's the way the situation, um, that's what happens here. That's how it, it's like, because otherwise you're just going to always be um, begging for attention, right? Six of Pentacles is in the reverse. You're always going to be begging for attention. When can I see you? When are you coming over? They're like, yeah, I'll come and see you. You give them passion, they leave. It feels like this person doesn't really care with the King of Swords being the only one who's in the reverse because we've already confirmed that all the other kings are here. The King of Swords being in reverse, this person is not being truthful and honest. They might have someone on the outside. To me, the Three of Swords can be a someone who's coming, someone who's coming in between two people, right? All right, I'm going to leave that right there. Thank you so much for being here. I think you need to get some boundaries, my friend, because this person's going to be coming back in. And when they come back in this time, they're going to say, oh, look, I love you. I really love you. I really love you. It's going to put you up in your head here. But I, I feel like you need to put your boundaries up because this person's going to, once they leave, they're going to come back in and they're going to ask you, oh, can we do this again? Yeah. And as long as you allow it, it's going to happen. So... I would say stop being mad at them for doing it, for being inconsistent with you, because you're allowing it. You allow them to come back in each time. And there's always two parts to a relationship, right? And one allows it, the other one does it, but the other one allows it. If you don't allow it, that's where it stops. It stops right there. All right? You're the queen of pentacles. Know your worth. I'm going to go for now. See ya, See ya uh, Sagittarius. Love you guys. Bye-bye.